Good morning, everyone. I am Gilbert Poralan from the Department of Science and Technology, Office of the Undersecretary for Research and Development, and I welcome you to Revolution, a symposium on research evolution towards a society-centric R&D, a virtual symposium organized by the USD Office of the Undersecretary for R&D in partnership with DOST Office of the Undersecretary for Regional Operations and the DOST Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources, Research and Development, or PICARD. This event is also supported by the DOST Regional Offices. We hope that you are all well from the comfort of your own homes and or you are having a great morning from your offices. In the recent Rapid Nutrition Assessment Survey, from November to December 2020, implemented by the USD FNRI, they have provided snapshots of the nutrition and food security situation of Filipinos during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the survey, it showed that six out of 10 households reported that they have experienced moderate to severe food shortage, while food shortage is highest in households with children and those with pregnant family members. The pandemic's effects carried through the country's issues on poverty, food supply, and malnutrition. Due to the shift in the way we work and travel, most Filipinos needed to stay at home with some losing their livelihood. It is during these moments that research and development or R&D is crucial in addressing the current national issues. As a sub-program of DOST Science for Change, the niche centers in the regions for R&D, or NICER, enables higher education institutions to make significant improvements in regional research to promote regional growth in all 17 regions. Through this symposium, we will provide the answer to the challenge on how science, technology, and innovation will achieve zero hunger in the Philippines. Learn the established R&D centers in the regions and get involved in doing inclusive R&D that increases agricultural productivity. We are excited for everyone as we have invited speakers from various agencies to provide us with the latest information and insights on the multitude of actions as they pursue to achieve this goal. Our event today has two main segments. The first set of NICERs to be presented is under the Inland Aquatic and Marine Resources. They are Freshwater Fisheries Center and Sea Cucumber R&D Center. After the said presentations, we will immediately hold a live Q&A. The second segment is under the Crops and Livestock Sectors. They are Tamarind R&D Center and Native Pig R&D Center. We also have messages from key stakeholders and local government officials who would like to show their support of the NICER program. So everyone, I hope you stick to our show till the end to hear the messages of our special guests. Let me also mention that aside from Zoom, this event is also being broadcasted live via the Facebook pages of DOST Picard, DOST OYOSEC RO, and regional offices. Before we proceed, I would like to request our Zoom participants to mute your microphones and turn off your cameras. And to everyone, including our friends viewing the event through our Facebook live stream, we will be having a live Q&A later on. With this, we encourage everyone to key in your questions at any time during the program through the Zoom chat box or comment on the FB live broadcast. We have our technical personnel here at DOST monitoring the comment section from where they will get and collate the questions. I think that is clear to everyone. Let's now continue. To formally welcome everyone and open the discussion proper, we have with us the Executive Director of DOST Picard, Dr. Reynaldo Ebora. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. On behalf of the DOST, headed by Secretary Portonato de la Peña, Undersecretary Rowena Cristina Gibara and Undersecretary Sancho Maborang, I am pleased to welcome you all who have honored us by partaking in today's symposium. 
let me take this opportunity as well to wish you all the best state of well-being during the pandemic. The symposium is a series of webinars that the USD is conducting for the first time since the first niche center in the regions for R&D or NICERS were established in 2018 under the Science for Change program. The seminar aims to take stock of technological outputs, past and current initiatives, and other accomplishments of selected NICER that aim to accelerate industrial competitiveness in the region. The theme of today's symposium, Increasing Agricultural Productivity Towards Achieving Zero Hunger, is very timely in light of the challenges that we are facing due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The unprecedented events that have greatly affected every sector of our society, including health, lifestyle, economic activities, public finance, to name a few, put a toll on the country's ability to achieve zero hunger by 2030 as per commitment to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Nonetheless, the USD and Picard will remain resolute in pursuing science, technology, and innovation in order to contribute to the nation's food security and that dream of a world where no hunger exists. The NICER program is one of the many platforms that the DOST implements to achieve this purpose. For NICERs in the agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources sector, representing four food subsectors, are being featured in today's symposium. These are the Presswater Fisheries Catch Center at Sabela State University in Cagayan Bali, the Seco Comber R&D Center at Mindanao State University in Awan in Northern Mindanao, the Tamarind R&D Center at Pampanga State University in Central Luzon, and the Philippine Native Pig Center at Marinduque State College in Mimaropa. Invariably, the R&D initiatives of these NICERs are meant to increase agri-aqua productivity and competitiveness while engendering the sustainable use of resources with a view to generating sustainable livelihoods and incomes and enabling access to safe, affordable, and nutritious food by both producers and consumers at all times. Before concluding, I would like to thank the speakers for their invaluable contribution to this seminar. I also thank our guests for your active participation, which symbolizes your support to DOST's undertakings. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Executive Director Ibarra, for giving us an overview of the NICERs of DOST Picard aiming for agri aqua productivity while incorporating sustainable practices. We look forward to more news on the successful implementation of these activities. Um, before I continue, we also acknowledge the presence of Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, Under Secretary Rowena Guevara, Under Secretary Sancho Maboran, our program leaders here, and also the special guests. Now, let us welcome DOST Secretary Fortunato T. de la Peña to give us the keynote message. Partners from the regional government offices and the local government units, colleagues and friends from the Department of Science and Technology, NICER program and project leaders, friends from the media, a pleasant morning to everyone. Malnutrition is considered one of the major problems faced by countries all over the world. As cited by the United Nations Development Program, around 821 million undernourished people were recorded in 2017. It is for this reason that the DOST is constantly making actions that would help address this pressing issue. The department through its councils and R&D institutes has undertaken various activities and initiatives to alleviate hunger and overcome malnutrition. For instance, in April 2021, the DOST Food and Nutrition Research Institute launched its enhanced Nutriban carrot variant, a supplementary food, especially for young children. It was next to the first variant using squash. Then last Friday, we launched the sweet potato variant. Considered as uh, nutritionally adequate crops commonly grown in the Philippines, squash, carrots, and sweet potato are fit as ingredients for this technology. 
This initiative helps address the problem of food insecurity and the need for nutritious food. Another initiative is the project on the documentation of indigenous vegetables in the Philippines funded by DOST, Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources, R&D, or PICARD, which uh, reached a total of 145 indigenous vegetables documented from 20 provinces. This project would help increase awareness and consumption of healthy vegetables in the country. In addition, the Council also kicked off a project entitled Development of Smart Food Value Chain Models for Selected Agricultural Products, which aims to map and assess the value or supply chains of coffee, carrot, milkfish, native chicken, and strawberry in selected regions. Given that the Philippines is an agricultural country, perhaps we can utilize this resource to provide solutions for hunger and malnutrition. Today, the need centers in the regions for R&D or NICER under the Science for Change program will show you the existing R&D centers under the Agriculture, Aquatic, and Natural Resources sector. This uh, includes citrus, freshwater fish, sweet potato, white potato, tamarind, crustaceans, mollusk, sea cucumber, halal goat, seaweed, native chicken, native pig, cacao, pili, queen pineapple, and also biodiversity assessment as well as uh, uh, lakes and uh, caves. These centers will showcase their facilities, accomplishments, progress, and most especially, their significant contributions to their respective regions. This will help you better visualize the role of the nicer centers towards regional development and industrial competitiveness. The nicer R&D centers are designed for long-term sustainability and will allow us to witness its productivity over time, in this case in the agriculture sector. This agricultural productivity will serve as our aid in the battle against hunger. Again, I would like to thank everyone for attending this event. The DOST will continuously support capacity building and provide developments through science, technology, and innovation. Through society-centric R&D and the pursuit of increased agricultural productivity, we will successfully overcome food insecurity and malnutrition and achieve our sustainable development goal on zero hunger. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you, Sekboy, for the inspiring message on innovation and how R&D can help the country achieve zero hunger. Being a nation rich in agricultural and aquatic natural resources, it is important to maximize our treasures for the benefit of every Filipino, keeping in mind our duty to preserve and protect the environment. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues in the world, there is a need to augment the current food supply relating to strategies in the AANR sector and its resiliency to withstand a prolonged and pervasive pandemic. To give a better vision on how R&D through our NICER program will answer this issue, let us all welcome the Undersecretary for R&D, Dr. Rowena Cristina Guevara. Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, Undersecretary Sancho Maporang, Executive Director Reynaldo V. Ebora, DOSD Regional Directors, Partners from the Regional Government Offices, Guests from the Regional Development Councils, Local Government Units and Industry Partners, Colleagues and Friends from the DOSD, NICER Program and Project Leaders, Our Friends from Media, Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, Magandang agham po sa ating lahat. The drastic changes in the world situation calls for a corresponding devolution in the research and development community. Over the years, the role of R&D has evolved. In the past, we used to conduct R&D to improve teaching and increase university ranking. We were teaching-centric. This changed being peer-centric from which R&D is done 
to contribute to overall scientific knowledge focused on publications and patent filings. But now, the researchers need to advance their role from status quo of peer-centric R&D towards a society-centric R&D as a tool for positive societal change and focus on achieving socio-economic impact from their research activities. Hence, we present this activity as Revolution, a symposium on research evolution towards a society-centric R&D. The new STS initiated the Science for Change program back in 2016 to complement the steady growth of researchers, scientists, and engineers, or RSEs, with increased funding on science, technology, and innovation, or STI activities, to reach at least 1% of the country's GDP expenditure on R&D, as prescribed by UNESCO. One of its component programs, the Niche Centers in the Regions for R&D, or NICER, was envisioned to catalyze and promote regional development and industrial competitiveness through institutional grants for higher education institutes to undertake quality research on a priority agricultural commodity, industry sector, or health concern of the region as endorsed by the Regional Development Council. In support of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, the DOSD, through these NICERs, conducted R&D interventions to enhance agricultural yields in their regions to spur economic growth and contribute to food security. Hence the theme, increasing agricultural productivity towards achieving zero hunger. To date, the essence of the Science for Change program was ever more evident in the regions in which the NICERs were established. On inland aquatic resources, we have the Freshwater Fisheries Center of Isabella State University in the Cagayan Valley region, which has established rearing facilities in 11 municipalities to grow ludong or lobed river mullet and improve the culturing techniques of glass eels or egat which successfully increased their average weight by 204% and their average survival to 94%. Moreover, the center generated employment for indigenous people and established the Cagayan Valley Aquaculture Producers Cooperative, which encourages the community to venture into eel and freshwater fish production. On crops, we have the Tamarind R&D Center of Pampanga State Agricultural University in Central Luzon Region, which has expanded the area for tamarind plantation to 70 hectares, increased the number of pods per square meter by 128%, increased the pod weight by 26%, and reduced tamarind tree infections within 75% up to 100%. Furthermore, the center has trained 73 tamarind farmers and engage 351 tamarind growers, 162 traders, and 21 processors in Pampanga, Bulacan, Zambales, Tarlac, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, and Aurora. We hope that these inspiring efforts of our NICERs to deliver scientific development to their regional community will encourage our private industry sector to conduct R&D projects aligned to their region's economic priority and motivate more higher education institutions to lead R&D projects for the Filipino people. As the future national R&D centers, the DOST intends that these NICERs will produce and attract the leading experts in their priority research area, the home of world-class equipment and facilities, and the central hub for R&D commercialization. In closing, I would like to thank and welcome all our participants in today's activity. We at DOST sincerely acknowledge and commend your extensive efforts, more so during this pandemic, to support our sustainable development and achieve zero hunger. Without a doubt, research and development and innovation fuel steady economic growth. Together, let us make innovation work for the people 
through investing in R&D. May we continue unifying our efforts in doing R&D because we believe R&D will make sustainable development happen. Maraming salamat at muli magandang agam po sa ating lahat. Thank you, Yusek Gev, for provi providing us with a vision on R&D and how it can make change happen for the AANR sector, and in turn, to ensure the country's ability to achieve zero hunger. We now move on to the first segment, the NICERS on Inland Aquatic and Marine Resources. The first presenter is Dr. Isagani Angeles, program leader from Isabella State University. Following his presentation is Dr. Rick Maracino, the president of ISU, together with the OIC Regional Director of DOST2, Mount Virginia Bilguera. On behalf of competent faculty researchers, dedicated research staff, and active students, welcome to Freshwater Fisheries Center. Hello everyone. I am Sagani P. Angeles Jr., the program leader and the director of Freshwater Fisheries Center. The Freshwater Fisheries Center involves capacity building to meet the R&D needs for development and management of the indigenous fisheries resources of the Cagayan Valley region with emphasis on high value species, the low river mallet or ludong, and freshwater eels which are present in the Cagayan River system. The research program of FFC focuses on developing artificial breeding and or culture techniques for these species with information on their natural habitats to determine options for their management. The NICER program aims to capacitate higher education institutions in undertaking quality research that will contribute to regional development through upgrading of science and technology infrastructure. The establishment of Freshwater Fisheries Center at Cibeles State University strengthened its capability to provide fish requirement and conserve important endemic and freshwater resources in the Cagayan Valley region. The establishment of Freshwater Fisheries Center of Isabella State University is one of the first NICER programs in the Philippines under the Science for Change program of the Department of Science and Technology and being monitored by the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources research and development, or the DOST Picard. This center has one approved research program, which is composed of two projects. The project one is titled Conservation and Artificial Spawning of Ludong, Low River Mallet. And the project two is titled Utilization of Aquatic Plants as Immune Stimulants for Freshwater Eel Culture. The Ludong project identified 11 municipalities as Ludong fishing grounds and evaluated the growth performance of Ludong in captivity. The eel project aims to assess the bioactive components and antibacterial property of Azola and Kangkong extra in order to improve the survival of freshwater eel during culture through the use of aquatic plants as immunistic. Freshwater Fisheries Center regularly conducts training on coracle production in tank based culture system to capacitate the member of the Gayan Valley Aquaculture Producers Cooperative or the CIPAPCO. Through NICER program, the building of Freshwater Fisheries Center is successfully renovated. In addition, the equipment and facilities of FFC have been upgraded.
the technology on conservation and propagation of endemic fish species, and improvement of grow out and hatchery performance of commonly cultured species in the region to be developed could be attributed significantly to boost the freshwater fisheries industry in the region. So let us hear the testimonials from the fish farmers who are benefited in the establishment of Freshwater Fisheries Center. Ako si Ginoong Melchor Domingo, taga General Aguinaldo Ramon Isabela. Ito ko na maganda ang potential ng isda. Naisip ko na magtayo ng sariling hatchery. Pero napakahirap pala. Napakaraming problema ang inapot ko. Buti na lang at uh, yung isang taga DOS din nung sinabi sa akin na meron na tayong itinayong Freshwater Fisheries Center dito sa ISO. Just contact uh, din sa Gani Angeles kasi siya yung head ng, ng fishery center, sabi sa akin. Through exchange of ideas, exchange of experiences din gani, nakita ko na merong kunting adjustment lang sa uh, pag-aalaga ko ng iyon at sinunod ko yun. Uh, ngayon, medyo nakapagpalaki na ako. Ako po si Jude Bahala. I'm 30 years old and I'm currently engaged in the aquaculture business. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa Freshwater Fishery Center through the leadership of Dr. Isegani P. Angeles dahil po sa kanilang technical assistance na naibigay sa akin. Dahil sa Freshwater Fishery Center, isa po akong nabigyan opportunity lalong-lalong na sa dispersal ng eel. Dahil sa layunin ng Freshwater Fishery Center na makatulong mga small farmers na katulad ko, nagtayo sila ng kooperatiba na tinatawag na si Bangko. Through the existence of the Freshwater Fishery Centers, I am now more confident of venturing aquaculture business. The Isabella State University expresses its unwavering support to the, for the NITS Centers for R&D NICER program under the Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources sector of the Department of Science and Technology. The DOST and the ISU have been working collaboratively in uh, advancing science, technology, and uh, innovation in the country. It was in October 2017 when the Freshwater Fisheries Center was uh, established. The FFC at uh, ISU is one of uh, the first NICER uh, program in the Philippines under the Science for Change program of uh, the Department of Science and Technology of which various freshwater Fisheries R&D have been funded by the agency. For this, we are beyond thankful to the DOST under the leadership of Honorable Fortunato T. De La Peña, the DOST Secretary, and Dr. Rowena Cristina L. Guevara, Under Secretary for Research and Development, and Dr. Sancho A. Maborang, for, uh, Under Secretary for Regional Operations, for their continuous support to Isabella State University. Isang makagham na araw po sa ating lahat. DOSTU has been consistent in offering its full support to the R&D community. As of today, we have established nine R&D centers in the region. We could not have done this without the help of the Science for Change program, particularly the NICER program. That is why we are continuously offering our support to the NICER program. We believe that by establishing R&D centers in the region, we can cater to the specific needs of every community. Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña's aim to bring science closer to the people can surely be achieved through the NICER program. Indeed, we can locally use science for change. Thank you, Dr. Angeles, Dr. Aquino, and Director Bilguera.
The next presenter is C. Cucumber R&D Center with Dr. Wilfredo Uy, the program leader from Mindanao State University in Awan. Right after his presentation is a message of support from the following. Dr. Elner Roa, the Chancellor of MSU Naawan, Regional Director Alfonso Alamban of DOST Region 10, Barangay Captain Asterio Mabale of Binoni Camigin, and Regional Director Teodoro Bacolo Jr. of BFAR Region 10. Sea cucumbers are spiny skinned marine animals shaped like cucumbers. They have small tentacle like tube feet used for locomotion and feeding. As deposit feeders, they play an important role in nutrient cycling. They reduce organic loads, redistribute surface sediments, and enhance the benthic habitat. With the declining stocks of these species in the wild, the center supports and promotes sustainable fisheries to aid the supply and demand of sea cucumbers. Sea Cucumber Research and Development Center at Mindanao State University at Naawan. The center provides vital information on the status of sea cucumber fisheries towards sustainable production and effective resource management in Mindanao. We conduct social demographic and economic profiling in selected coastal areas of Mindanao, as well as characterize sea cucumber fisheries and identify commercially important species like Holothuria fuscogilva. We also provide a scientific understanding on the habitat profile, reproductive biology, and genetic diversity of Holothuria fuscogilva in support of conservation, sustainable utilization, and mariculture of this high-valued sea cucumber. We go to different coastal areas in Mindanao for site scoping, survey on its population structures and recruitment, and characterization of the habitat of Holothuria fuscogilva. Developing a viable mariculture technology to produce Holothuria fuscogilva juveniles for stock enhancement and development of sustainable livelihood from sea ranching activities in northern Mindanao is also part of the center's goals. We refine hatchery protocols and captive breeding techniques of Holothuria fuscogilva from the induction of its spawning to its larval rearing. We have successfully seeded hatchery produced Holothuria fuscogilva juveniles in Lagindingan, Misamis Oriental. The center also aims to refine the culture production of sandfish Holothuria scabra towards an ecologically sound stock enhancement of sea cucumber as part of the center's objective to provide sustainable alternative livelihood to fisher folks we produce Holothuria scabra juveniles in the university hatchery facility and are turned over to project sites for ocean nurseries and floating hapas for two months. So we are now harvesting the sea cucumber. This is one month old, grown in hapa, floating hapa at Kamigi in Taguinis Lagoon. After growing these in ocean nurseries, the juveniles are distributed to beneficiaries for grow out in modular pens and for seeding to enhance natural stocks. Ako di ay tuod si Mrs. Atanasia Gamo, ang municipal agriculturist, assigned in the municipality of Kings Ivan. Ani at kita karon na seeding ta sa 2,500 ka pieces na si cucumber. Dagat niya, makaon, 
Pero importante rin kayo lang role sa, sa atong dagat, sa atong sea kingdom. One of the awaited infrastructure projects is the rehabilitation of the university fish pond. The fish pond would help address the issues of increasing market demand and over-exploitation of wild stocks by mass-producing sandfish in the pond. Over the duration of the program, we have forged good partnerships with different institutions, LGUs, and local beneficiaries to arrange policies on sea cucumber resources in Mindanao and its implication towards conservation and management. My wholehearted support and appreciation to the NICER Sea Cucumber R&D Center program of the Mindanao State University at Naawan. I have seen how the project leaders work tirelessly from its proposal stage up until now in its final year, coupled with having zealous staff, collaborators, and partners. The center helped boast the MSU Naawan significance in research and to the community. Through the program, several of the university's facilities are improved, like the expansion of the hatchery to improve its life support system, and the rehabilitation of the university's fish ponds to support cultural production of sea cucumbers. The Amisho Naawan Genetics Laboratory was also upgraded to support its R&D agenda and other projects of the university that might need it. Working with the different higher education institutions and the local government units strengthened relationships and created more research opportunities among collaborators. Those engagements make the university more visible to various agencies and local government. My hooray to the team who always do their best for a better ambition now, better communities, and better environment. Padayun! Ayong Adlao, Satanan. We are very glad to be part of this very important event. MSU Naawan, the Department of Science and Technology in Region 10, have come hand in hand in implementing this program. Congratulations to MSU Naawan, headed by its Chancellor, Dr. Alnor C. Roa, and our program leader, Dr. Wilfredo Tichpoy, for the program's accomplishment and milestones. This program is, very, is the very first NICER in the region. For its first two years of implementation, it has already accomplished that. The Sea Bomber RD Center has contributed further to the scientific knowledge of identifying and assessing more sea cucumber species that they can be by providing livelihood to local fisher folks. Sea cucumber is an important economic resource in Southeast Asia and the Philippines has the rich potential of utilizing sea cucumber fisheries. The sea creature has always fascinated me 
as it's just a small, humble one that plays a vital role in marine ecosystems. As the deposit feeders, sea cucumbers play an important role in nutrient cycling. Their actions reduce organic loads and redistribute surface sediment, and the inorganic nitrogen and phosphorus they excrete enhances the benthic habitat. The sea cucumbers are high market value as food which usually lead to its commercial exploitation. It is on its great role and market intricacy that we are investing so much knowledge and resources in preserving and getting to know it more. This is also why we in DOSC 10 are very much enthusiastic in looking after the progress of this program. The prominence of MSU Naawa as a premier institution for marine biological sciences and aquaculture education in the southern Philippines is a good qualification for it to host this center. In the future, we hope to have MSU Naawa broader coverage as the national R&D center for sea cucumber. We strongly believe that will happen, and DOST 10 will always be there to support the center and help them deliver the result of R&D to the people. Dan ang salamat kung ba ayong adlaw na usap. Ang pagpagisan ko pagisyon, usap ka daku kayo ng oportunidad para sa katawahan sa akong komunidad. Hindi makatapang sila kong inabuhian. Ang ikatuha, pagbuhi sa ecosystem sa pang dagat pang dagat nga aspeto kay ang bat kagisan sa kini ka ay dako kay nga faktor para ang atong marine ecosystem mabuhi ug dako kay ni kayo ambag para sa atong kalamuan sa atong pagpadaghan paghatag og kinabuhi o panginabuhi sa katawhan kanana First and foremost, I would like to start by wishing you and your families my best regards amidst the difficulty we are facing brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and our resiliency as Filipinos to adapt to the new normal environment. Nonetheless, our current situation is enjoining us to help each other, especially in the implementation of this project to uplift the lives of our people. With that, I want to commend the Nisar C. Cucumber r and program for taking the initiative in providing vital information on the status of sea cucumber fisheries towards sustainable production and effective resource management. We at the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Region 10 will always be in full support of your advocacy. This is our time when we come together as one and we will heal as one. Soon, when the pandemic is over, I am looking forward to being with you all. Thank you so much, and may God bless us all. Thank you, Dr. Uy, Dr. Roa, Director Alamban, Captain Mabale, and Director Bacolod. And now we move on to the live Q&A with our panelists present. May I please request Secretary de la Peña, Yusek Guevara, Dr. Ibora presenters and their partners to open your cameras and unmute your mics when asked during our q and I would also like to encourage our participants to post their questions here in the Zoom message board, or if you're watching the live broadcast via Facebook, to key in the question in the comment section of the DOST Science for Change Facebook page live broadcast. Okay, so now uh, let me read the first question. Uh, this question is addressed to Secretary de la Peña. Secretary Boy, uh, the question is, uh, ngayong panahon ng pandemya, malaking pagbabago ang nararanasan ng mga Pilipino sa kalakal dahil sa mga health at travel restrictions. Paano makakatulong ang NICER program sa lumalaking problema sa food supply ng bansa? So, or uh, pwede rin pong uh, si Yusek Guevara ang sumagot. Thank you very much, uh, Gilbert. That's a very good question. Itong ating pinakitang nicer dito sa programa ngayon, makikita ninyo na, una, connected sila dun sa mga fisher folk. 
Pangalawa, ang layunin talaga nila ma-increase yung productivity noong ludong, noong igat, noong um, si cucumber. Pag in-increase mo yun, ibig sabihin, lalaki yung sweldo or yung kita ng farmer. Pangalawa, uh, syempre, makukontribute yan sa food security dahil nakakain naman itong mga pinapakita natin. Pero both of these uh, products coming from these two nicers are high value. So our expectation is that the contribution to the income of the farmers is much higher than other types of uh, uh, fish or, sea, uh, or seafood. So yun yung mangyayari dyan. So in the midst of this pandemic, we are increasing the take home of the Fisher Fund. Thank you very much, Risa Kev. Yan si napakahalaga talaga ng ating mga centers kasi it will really boost no, yung economic uh, development ng mga regions. Ayan, so we move on to the second question. Uh, we have a question here from the Facebook page. Uh, this is addressed to Dr. Ibora. Are you here, uh, sir? Uh, let me read the question. Dr. Ibora, sa takbo po ba ng ating mga nicers ngayon ay makakasabay na po tayo sa ASEAN at pandaigdigang merkado ng mga isda at sea cucumber? Uh, magandang umaga po sa lahat. Bali yun po ang isa sa mga layunin ng nicer na yung technological capability natin may, ay may improve sa region. Uh, yung pong sinasabing makakasabay ba tayo sa mga katabing bansa natin, uh, yun po ang susubukan nating gawin. Pero considering yung uh, skills na available sa mga state universities and colleges, we are very confident that we will be able to do it. Kailangan lang nito ng proper support. Uh, yung mga lahat ng R&D na madidevelop natin, yung mga technology, kailangan uh, may malinaw na technology transfer component uh, para maramdaman agad yung impact. And at the same time, uh, makita natin na kaya natin sa production ng ibang country. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Dr. Ibora, for that answer. Oh, uh, we have here Sekboy. Uh, Sekboy, uh, may, uh, may another question address uh, for you. Uh, let me read for the question. Uh, dahil patapos na ang unang tatlong taon ng mga nicers na ito, ano po ang nakikita ninyong mga hakbang sa kanilang susunod na limang taon? Ang unang pumapasok sa isip ko, uh, sana ay uh, mapataas nila ang enrollment sa mga graduate programs nila na kung saan ang mga estudyante na nagmamasters at magpi-PhD ay ma-involve uh, doon sa kanilang mga research sa mga nicer programs. Pangalawa, uh, sana hindi lamang ang uh, DOST ang maging katuwang nila Uh, sa pagro-roll out ng technologies kung hindi ang ating Department of Agriculture. At yan naman ay alam na ng DA, sinabi na namin sa kanila. At uh, pangatlo, uh, kasi ang aming uh, initial support ay, uh, ng, na malakihan ay uh, dito sa unang tatlong taon. Uh, hindi natin alam kung anong mga resources ang available after three years sa DOST. Uh, pero tutulungan pa rin namin sila in terms of R&D projects at uh, inaasahan naman namin na ating uh, kapartner, ang Commission on Higher Education ay uh, uh, matulungan din sila para lalong mapataas ang antas ng kanilang mga facilities at nang sa ganun ay talagang maging world class. No, parating ang sinasabi ni Yusek Geb, marami sa kanila ay maaaring uh, maging National Centers of Excellence at hindi lamang yon gaya nga ng sinabi ni Dr. Ebora, marami sa kanila ay pwedeng maging regional at international centers of excellence. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat po, Sekboy. Ayan, so napaka, ano po, mag-look forward talaga tayo sa next na mga activities ng ating mga centers. So uh, ngayon, uh, mayroon tayong tanong naka-address kay uh, Yusek Maborang. Ayan. Good morning, Yusek. Good morning, Sir Gilbert. Good morning po. At uh, itong tanong, uh, why should the nicers like the Freshwater Fishery Center and the Sea Cucumber R&D Center be always in touch with the RRDIC and the Regional Development Council? How could the RDC help in charting for the sustainability of the center? Okay, thank you, uh, Gilbert. Salamat po sa katanungan. 
Ah, uh, banggitin ko lang po siguro no na lahat po ng ating uh, nicers are indoors and approved by the Regional Development Council. Alam naman po natin ang uh, RDC is the highest policy making body in uh, the region. Sa ano, mahalaga po ito dahil uh, uh, nagpapakita po ito ng uh, suporta ng iba't ibang institusyon tungkol po doon sa NICER na ating itinatayo at uh, hindi lamang po mula sa gobyerno kundi suporta na rin po na galing sa mga private organizations at uh, NGO. Uh, yung uh, kasunod na tanong ay uh, kung paano makakatulong yung RDC ano, uh, for the sustainability ng uh, ating center. Ay uh, malaki po ang may tutulong nito ano dahil uh, kung kayo po ay makakakuha at uh, ang ating naman po mga, mga nicer ay nakakuha ng suporta ng RDC ay nangangahulugan din po ito ng pagsuporta ng lahat ng miyembro at uh, hindi lamang po ito pagsuporta doon sa patronage uh, uh, or uh, pagsuporta doon sa R&D utilization and outputs kundi pagsuporta na rin po sa operationalization. Maganda po na ito ay na-endorse ng RDC dahil bukod po riyan ay makikita po talaga natin na ang approach po na ginagawa natin on the ground ay demand and industry driven dahil uh, tumutugon po uh, sa lokal na pangangailangan ng industriya ng halimbawa po ng uh, ill production sa Region 2 uh, yung mga ginagawa po ng ating R&D Center. So sa ganitong pamamaraan po ay uh, we can uh, partly ensure na pagkatapos po ng assistance na uh, ibibigay ng DOST ay uh, makakaasa po tayo ng ibang assistance na hindi lamang po manggagaling doon sa mga partner institutions kundi doon din po sa mga sektor na privado kagaya po ng mga uh, cooperative, kagaya po ng uh, mga industry players na nakikita or uh, nakasentro doon sa region. Salamat po, Sir Gilbert. Thank you, Yusek Sancho. Yeah, so we thank you know, the RDCs, our regional partners, uh, and also the industries for your support to the NICER program. Yeah, so we have actually a question here addressed to uh, Dr. Ibora or the program leaders. This is from Net uh, from Ms. Annabel Sorara of Net25 Radio Aguila. Uh, according to her, maaari po bang ipaliwanag yung tinatawag na artificial breeding? Ano po ang mga technologies na ginagawa upang maparami ang produksyon ng igat, sea cucumber, at iba pa na mga fresh and fishery, uh, iba pa na Nasa fresh and fresh water and fishery center. Nasa Prebora. Uh, I-request ko po yung ating program leader to give more details regarding this particular technology. Salamat po. Thank you, Dr. Ibora. I think makakasagot dito si Dr. Isagani. Yeah. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Bali dito po sa ating artificial spawning po. Uh, Meron po tayong i-adapt na technology. Meron po tayong ginawang benchmarking po sa National Taiwan Ocean University. At um, basically, mag-inject lang po tayo ng hormone para po ma-induce natin yung matured na breeder para po dito sa artificial spawning po natin. Nilaman po. Thank you, Dr. Gani. Ah, nito po ba si Dr. Uy? Uh, yes. So. Would you like to add, sir? Yeah, uh, in the case naman po sa sea cucumber, uh, we, uh, meron kami ginagawang induction. No? But normally when we collect uh, yung adult, yung good stock, uh, we, we are actually targeting for natural spawning. Pero if hindi mangyari yung natural, then nag induce kami. So what we do is actually yung tinatawag namin temperature shock and, and food shock. So binibigyan namin, kinukondisyon namin yung sea cucumber na, oh, maraming pagkain, so it's time for you to release your eggs. So yun lang po, wala kaming i-inject na hormone or anything, but basically it's, uh, we are just uh, manipulating yung kanyang environment. So through temperature, uh, feeding, ganun. So yun po. Uh, at the moment, maganda naman po yung protocol, and the protocol for sea cucumber is already um, uh, published. 
and and except for the one species na yung isang fusugilba which we, we are still working on so yun po thank you very much dr uy and dr gani for that uh, knowledge that na uh, na share niyo sa amin so for those interested no to learn more about those techniques you may contact our program leaders yeah and so we still have time for more question i think uh okay, here's another question this is addressed to secretary board Uh, boy. Uh, kasama po sa food supply chain ang proper storage ng mga kalakal na inaani sa AANR sector. May mga proyekto po ba ang DOST na makakapa, uh, makakapaganda sa kasalukuyang estado nito? Oo, meron tayo ngayong uh, mga projects na ini-implement uh, sa Luzon, Visayas at uh, Mindanao. Halimbawa, dito sa Luzon, sa Northern Luzon, meron tayo sa Uh, Benguet, meron din tayo sa uh, Nuevo Biscaya, meron tayo sa uh, party ng Region 6 at uh, ganun din sa Dabao. Ano, ito kasi yung mga iba-iba yung klase ng mga produkto nila. Alam naman natin kung ano yung mga produk produkto sa Benguet, kung ano yung produkto dyan sa gawin ng Nuevo Biscaya at uh, doon naman sa uh, Visayas, yung mga may kinalaman sa fisheries at sa Dabao ay yung mga putas. Ano. Kaya yan ay inuuna natin para i-demonstrate na uh, true proper uh, storage ay napreserve natin ang kalidad ng ating mga produkto at uh, mababawasan ang ating wastage ano, due to spoilage. Kaya kung iyan, ang uh, proper storage ay maidudugtong naman sa logistics sa transportation ay talagang mapapababa natin ang uh, wastages. Alam niyo napakataas ng losses natin due to uh, wastage ano uh, ang, ang uh, natatandaan ko pang porsyento ay very close to 40% ang losses at kung yan ay ma-save natin o ma-reduce para ka na rin nagdagdag ng production. Kaya napakahalaga nitong storage, napakahalaga ng uh, transportation. At uh, ang amin tinitingnan ngayon ay kung paano mailalapit ang processing uh, sa ating mga farmers ano kasi uh, halimbawa kung dagsaan ang ani at uh, maaring yan ay mabulok lang doon sa lugar mismo ng farm ay uh, tinitingnan namin kung paano magig madadala ang process ang processing doon mismo sa site ng mga farmers kaya isang malaking component ng aming uh, uh, food, smart food value chain program ay yung ating mga uh, uh, mobile uh, food processors. At inuumpisahan na yan, ang nangangasiwa sa, sa lakuyan ay ang Industrial Technology Development uh, Institute. At hopefully kung maipakita natin successful, again we can replicate this and uh, 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 DA for example and uh, local government units can uh, help us and even the private sector can uh, invest in this uh, mobile processing uh, unit. So napakahalaga talaga ng storage, ng uh, transportation, ng uh, processing at syempre yung pang ibang aspeto like uh, packaging and yun mismo um, uh, uh, ika nga eh, uh, kung paano na yan uh, nadadala mismo sa hapag sa pamilya yung retail retail uh, process. Salamat. Thank you, Sec Boy. Yan so napaka holistic talaga ng approach no for ng, uh, ng ating mga projects or programs uh, in addressing the food the entire food supply chain. So we hope na marami ang mag uh, mag-adapt no ng mga uh, partners natin from the LGUs or from the industries sa ating available technologies here in DOST. Uh, we can accommodate siguro dalawang questions. So we have here a question from, ano, from the, our Zoom participant addressed to Yusek Maborang, Yusek Sancho. Uh, this question is from Yusebio Angara. Paano po kaya ang mga proseso para makipag-ugnayan sa mga nicer centers katulad ng sea cucumber at freshwater fishery center lalo po dito sa Aurora Province. It's a coastline village at maaari po namin magamit ang teknolohiya katulad ng sea cucumber production and freshwater eel production. Salamat po. Uh, salamat po, uh, Sir Gilbert. At salamat po sa inyong tanong. Uh, Unang-una po, kung kayo po ay nasa uh, probinsya ng Aurora, uh, tayo po ay may provincial office dyan po sa inyong lugar. Bagamat Siguro yung exact address ay uh, akin na lang pong uh, 
isusulat mamaya dito sa chat box ano. Ah uh, bukod po riyan ay meron din po tayong uh, mga regional offices ano. So ma maari po kayo makipag-ugnayan doon po sa ating uh, regional director uh, sa region 3 po ay uh, si director uh, JC Sikat at uh, ganoon din po sa ating mga provincial uh, directors. Ngayon kung kayo po ay nahihirapan ay uh, pwede po kaming uh, makita virtually ano po. So i-search nyo lang po yung uh, uh, DOST uh, at mag uh, i-click nyo lang po yung region 3 at makikita nyo po roon na may mga uh, chat box at pwede po kayo makipag-usap at makipag-engage at maaari po kayo magtanong doon at uh, kami po ay sumasagot sa lalong madaling panahon para sa inyo pong uh, mga gusto at naising kunin po sa DOST. Salamat po. Thank you, Jesek Sancho. Yan. So, our last question is addressed to um, pwede kay Dr. Elnor Roa, na the Chancellor of MSC Naawan, or kay Dr. Wilfredo Uy. Um, according uh, sa tanong, what do you see uh, will be the next steps of MSU Naawan for the Sea Cucumber R&D Center? Yes, yeah, yeah. Good, good morning. Good yeah, morning. Good morning. Uh, I am happy to inform that next steps for being the R&D for Sea Cucumber. Actually, we na kaming parang phase two of this program, but uh, parang hindi na ito assessment or the studies of uh, the utility and the, dis, uh, the distribution of these different uh, sea, cucumber, sea cucumber species that we are studying now, but this time, meron ng value adding, no? And I'm very happy that uh, with the group of Dr. Oi, talagang masisipag silang magawa, and they really think hard, work hard for the development and uh, the research and development studies of the sea cucumber. And again, for those who are interested to join us, you are always welcome. And you can see us in the Facebook, the Sea Cucumber Project of the Mindanao State University at Naawan. I think our project leader could also add on this. Please, Dr. Boy. Yeah, yes, uh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Mom Chansi. No? So yes, yun, totoo yun, uh, we already submitted our uh, phase two proposal. So, uh, talagang we are targeting for being a national center for sea cucumber, no? And, and yun. So, and then tapos may yung fish pa namin will hopefully will be full, fully operational. Ito yung gusto namin gawin actually, uh, producing sea cucumber in ponds. Kasi marami na tayong attempts noon. Uh, so, ang ginawa namin, IUC namin, and hopefully through this nicer program, we can produce more. And this can be duplicated in, in other areas. And it's true, we are actually looking for partners, no? So, so to promote Sea Cucumbers, kailangan natin partnerships with the local government unit. And we are actually, um, yun, yun ang ginagawa namin ngayon, so, and for mass production. So with that, we, we can actually increase, um, we offer livelihoods sa ating mga communities. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uya. Thank you also, Dr. Roa, for your commitment to the, uh, to the Sea Cucumber R&D Center. So that's the end of the first set of our Q&A. I would like to thank our panelists, uh, Secretary de la Peña, Yusek uh, Guevara, uh, Yusek Gev, uh, Director Ibora, Dr. Gani, uh, Dr. Uy, Chancellor Roa, the partners and the pro program leaders. Thank you very much. So your insights have been most informative and inspiring. Thank you also to all who dropped their queries and clarifications. We now move on to the second portion of the program, the presentation of NICERS on crops and livestock sectors. To present the Tamarind R&D Center, may we call on Dr. Virgilio Gonzalez, program leader from Pampanga State Agricultural University. To follow is a message of support from Dr. Anita David, the OIC president of PSAU, Regional Director Julius Cesar Sikat of DUST Region 3, Regional Director uh, Gina Gakusan of NEDA Region 3, and Director Fe Porchuncula of Clarde. Magandang araw ako si Rian Bantegi at welcome dito sa Pampanga State Agricultural University na matatangkuan 
sa paanan ng Bundok Araya at ito sa Magalang Pampanga. Layunin nito na itaguid ang industriya ng sampalok sa bansa at ipakilala ang sampalok bilang isang kapakipakinabang na pananim. Ito ay pinangungunahan ni Dr. Virgilio D.M. Gonzalez at binubuo ng tatlong proyekto. Kung sakaling gamitin natin uh, ang sampalok bilang uh, uh, pangunahing reforestation species or secondary reforestation species sa mga nakakalbong mundo, we'll be hitting uh, uh, three targets in one bullet. Una, na mapapangalagaan natin ang ating kalikasan. Ano? Uh, dahil pwedeng ang sampalok ko ay matibay sa mga mahinang lupa. No? Pangalawa, ang mga plantasyon ng sampalok na pwede natin establish sa mga nakakalbong bundok ay pakikinabangan bilang dagdag na kita ng mga komunidad na malapit ito sa mga, sa, sa mga kabundukan. Pangatlo, dagdag na kita. No? Dagdag na kita sa ating uh, Galing sa Usbong, ito yung talbos na to, at saka doon sa mga bunga. Kami po sa Pampanga State Agricultural University ay nagpapasalamat sa Department of Science and Technology, sa PICARD, na aming mga partners dito sa NICER Tamarin Program. Sa pamamagitan po ng mga dalawang ahensya niya, nakatulong po namin sa PSAU, mapapalaganap ang kalidad ng mga tanim ng sampalok sa buong Central Luzon. Ang Project 1 ay nakatuon sa genomic characterization ng matamis at maasin na sampalok. Mayroong mga pagsusuri na ginagawa upang makita ang katangian ng sampalok sa molecular level at pagsusuri upang makita ang mga katangian ng mga dahon, laklak at bunga nito. Kasama na rin ang pagpaparami ng prototype ng sampalok sa pamamagitan ng marketing. At alam nyo ba na may iba-ibang klaseng bunga? May mga bunga na flat or round, straight or curved, and no nipple and nipple. Samantala, ang Project 2 ay nakatutok sa pagbuo ng estratehiya sa produksyon na nakabase sa agham at teknolohiya upang mapataas ang ani sa sampalok. Dito sa proyektong ito, nais nice nilang madiskubre ang pinaka-mainam na dwarfing interstock, ang tamang pagpapataba, magang pagpapablaklak at pagbaba ng mga insidente ng site at peste. Base sa kanilang pag-aaral, nakakatulong ang paggamit ng interstocks katulad ng Kabanatuan 1, Kabanatuan 2, Intafalam at Mebaisiha para magkaroon ng dwarfing effect. Nakita din ang girdling at pruning ay nakatulong upang mas maparami ang bunga ng sampalok. Sa pagkontrol naman ng mga sakit, pag-alaman na nakakatulong ang Trichoderma herjanum laban sa powdery mildew at ang plant growth promoter at oriental herb nutrients sa mga sakit katulad ng Fusarium leaf spot. Sabi ng banda, ang layunin ng Project 3 ay suriin ang value chain at bentahan ng sampalok sa pamilihan sa gitnang Luzon upang magkaroon ng karagdagang kaalaman na magagamit sa pagpapalago ng industriya. Sa paikipag-ugnayan sa mga sangay ng pamahalaan, kanilang kinapanayam ang mga kabilang sa industriyang ito na imapa ng grupo ang value chain at ang mga kabahagi sa supply chain. Ayon sa pag-aaral, mas mataas ang presyo ng matamis sa sumpalok na umaabot ng 130 hanggang 200 pesos per kilo kumpara sa maasin na umaabot ng 10 hanggang 25 pesos per kilo. Ang usbong ng maasin na sampalok ay napagkakitaan din sa Nueva Ecija at Bulacan kung saan ay pagbibli ito sa halagang 100 hanggang 200 pesos per kilo. Ay malaking itutulong niyan dahil uh, unang-una nakita naman natin uh, as, uh, sa inyong pag-aaral din, uh, yung in-introduce nyo sa amin ngayon, uh, nakita namin yung nagiging bunga talaga. Uh, malayong malayo dun sa practice namin. So, malaking malaking tulong yan. Hanggang sa muli, ako si Rian Bantegi at maraming maraming salamat mula sa Pampanga State Agricultural University. Isang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Pampanga State Agricultural University's 
Nicer Tamarind R&D Center of the Philippines program is wholeheartedly dedicated to our late president, Dr. Honorio M. Soriano Jr. He was so passionate, dedicated, and committed to the program because he wanted to see a better Philippines. The program would greatly affect the lives of many of our fellow Filipinos who are into the tamarind industry. PSAU is grateful to the Honorable DOST Secretary Fortunato T. De La Pena, Under Secretary Rowena Cristina Guevara, DOST Picard Executive Director, Dr. Rinaldo V. Ebora, and DOST Region 3 Regional Director, Dr. Julius Cesar Vesicat for the trust that they give PSAU. In return, we fully commit to the success of the program and we are 100% behind our team. In keeping the legacy of President Soriano, we pray that our NICER program would be at its nicest. Muli isang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. The Pampanga State Agricultural University's Tamarind NICER Center is considered as one of the greatest accomplishments and a legacy of its late president, Dr. Honorio Soriano Jr., whom we fondly call President June here at the Central Luzon Agricultural Research Arena. And it must be noted that tamarind propagation, though a traditional local industry in Pampanga, started to bask in the limelight through the initiative of the PSAU leadership. And back with the results of years of tamarind-related researches, the DOST Region 3 endorsed the proposal for the establishment of the niche center in the Central Luzon region for tamarind R&D with the expected potential impact not only to the tamarind farmers, but more so to the local MSMEs. Both the startups and firms considering business expansion see the improved market potential when tamarind fruit, bark, and leaves are incorporated in their products. Now more than ever, we express our support and commitment to ensure the sustainability of the Tamarind NICER Center because we believe that its research and development outputs will help this blooming Central Luzon industry. We at the DOSE Region 3 are committed to link the Tamarind NICER Center to the relevant industry partners that will make full use of its R&D output. This is our commitment to Agham Naramdam. This is science for the people. Muli, magandang umaga po at salamat sa inyong lahat. I would like to congratulate the Pampanga State Agricultural University for the establishment of the Tamarind Research and Development Center. And of course, I would like to thank the DOST for making this possible. The RDC is proud and supportive of this center and will endeavor to promote the necessary policy support for this center to thrive and achieve its outcome of increasing the tamarind quality the production, the yield, and of course, eventually, the income of our farmers, the tamarind growers. On behalf of the Central Luzon Agriculture, Aquatic and Resources Research and Development Consortium, or CLARDEC, I would like to extend our warm congratulations and sincere support to the Pampanga State Agricultural University for the pursuance of the Tamarind R&D Center under the DOS NICER program. The consortium recognizes the very significant role of PSAU in spearheading R&D works on tamarind in the region. Likewise, for placing in the R&D map the first registered sweet tamarind variety in the country named Aglibot Sweet. Ample appreciation goes to the R&D team behind the establishment of the Tamarind R&D Center led by then PSAU President and CLARDEC RRDCC Chair, Dr. Honorio Soriano Jr. 
Moreover, the consortium is putting its full support to Dr. Anita David, officer in charge of PSAU and all the researchers of PSAU for the realization of the center's R&D activities, which will focus on genomic characterization for improvement of sour and sweet tamarind, development of the SNT-based production management strategies, value chain analysis, and marketing of tamarind. We wish for the continued success of the Tamarind R&D Center. May you continue to push forward the creation of more knowledge, information, and enterprises to further transform Tamarind to higher value and economic importance. Hence, provide more benefits to the communities it aims to serve. We look forward for the center to help contribute to further develop the agricultural sector. CLARDEC and the 29 strong member institutions support PSAU in making the Tamarind R&D Center a viable and sustainable center, not only in Central Luzon, but the country in general. We look forward to have the sweet tamarind products available year round at affordable prices in the country and abroad. Mabuhay ang PSAU, mabuhay tayong lahat mula sa R&D Network. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez, Dr. David, Director Sikat, Director Gakusan, and Dr. Pershankula. The next presentation is the Native Pig R&D Center. May we please call on Dr. Arnold Monleon, the program leader from Marinduque State College. To give their message of support are the following. Dr. Justado Zulueta, the president of MSC. Regional Director Maria Josefina Abilay of DOST Memaropa and Honorable Presby Velasco, the Governor of the Province of Marinduque, and also the Regional Development Council Chair. The Marinduque Research and Development Center is a niche center for research and development in Mimaropa. It is tasked to improve and produce a purebred native pig with predictable production performance and consistent product quality. Roberto, kukuha siya ng semen ngayon and because they want to make sure na ito, sa linya na ito yes. lang manggagali ng lahat ng tatatakan ng markado kung magandang klase yung i-inseminate dun sa The current activities are in continuing collaboration and cooperation with other R&D centers and stakeholders. Sarap, isa yung marbling, yung laman ng markaduke. Kaya, na nyo, nag-moist at saka hindi nag-dry agad yung laman. At hindi, makapal yung taba. Kita nyo? Ang ganda. O, oh, makapal yung balat, kaya hindi makapal yung taba. Dr. Arnolfo, Arnold, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga itinuro mo sa akin, sa lahat ng mga pinatitin mo sa akin. Maraming maraming salamat. Plus of course, POST. Thank you very much. Dahil din sa simple kong vlog, nag-reach out sila sa akin dahil natuwa sila na gusto ko ang 
suckling pigs ng Pilipinas at dahil meron talaga silang programa to make it consistent, um, sustainable at dumami ang supplies, you wanted to make the Markaduke the best pigs not just in the Philippines but in the world. Markaduke pig ang tawag sa isang Philippine native pig na may natural genes for good quality meat. Kwento ni Marvin Masaya siya na ginawa niya ang trip na ito dahil hukot sa marami siyang kutunan nakatikim pa siya ng masarap na kalase na karne ng baboy. Kasi nagliletsyon si Marvin. Oo, oh, oh, business opportunity to. Ay, gusto ko sumama sa Marinduque. <laughs> All dream destination ko yan sa Pilipinas. Oh. One of. The plan is to engage in customized breeding for specialized and specialty products that will be supported with technology on forage and feed fermentation and improve husbandry practices. To mark the Duke native pig is truly the pride of Filipinos for national development and continuing progress. Department of Science and Technology Secretary, Honorable Fortunato T. De La Peña, to the DOST Undersecretary for Research and Development, Yusek Ruena Cristina Guevara, to the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources, Research and Development of the Department of Science and Technology, DOST Picard, Executive Director, Dr. Reynaldo V. Ivora, to the DOST Regional Directors and Officials, to the heads of various government agencies and presidents of state universities and colleges, the participants of today's symposium, a safe and healthy day to everyone. On behalf of Marinduque State College, we'd like to extend our sincerest appreciation and gratitude the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources, Research and Development of the Department of Science and Technology for all the assistance extended to our institution on the conservation, improvement, and profitable utilization of native pigs in the country. The whole MEC community and the Marcaduque Research and Development Center headed by Professor Dr. Arnolfo M. Monleon, are committed and will exert our 100% effort to ensure the success of the program. We will encourage our faculty and the students to conduct more research and extension activities related to its conservation, propagation, and utilization. We will initiate campaigns that would increase awareness and promote the native pig program and projects of the DOST Picard and Marinduque State College and the native pig of the province in Marinduque. We genuinely acknowledge the significance of this program to the attainment of our mission and vision and we're confident that it will help build our identity and boost our reputation as we are becoming a full-fledged university in the region and in the country. Rest assured, that we are always ready to support all the endeavors of the Native Pig programs and all the initiatives of the DOST and the DOST Picard in cultivating and promoting society-centric research and development. Thank you very much. Godspeed. Alalahanin po ninyo na dito sa Marinduque State College mayroon pong sa inyo yung tunay na nagmamahal. 
On behalf of DOST Mimaropa, I congratulate the Marinduque State College for establishing a breakthrough R&D project for the Philippine native pig and for harnessing STI to reinvigorate the industry in the Mimaropa region. This birth of the nicer in native pig will not only benefit hog raisers but will also contribute to the entire value chain to include farmers, meat traders, meat processors, and consumers. With this, DOST Mimaropa expresses its full support and assures continued collaboration with MSC in its effort to realize the vision of achieving a progressive Philippine native pig industry by 2030. Likewise, DOST Mimaropa will continue to assist MSC in strengthening their research capabilities alongside with its RDE Center for Native Pig in support of the sustained development of this commodity. To this end, I encourage our stakeholders to take part in promoting our genetically improved native pig, our region's very own Marca Duque pig. Again, congratulations and salute to all the people behind this remarkable R&D project. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon to one and all. In all the years that I have tasted different delicacies, may it be local or foreign, I've never tasted anything quite like our native pigs or what we call markaduke. Before, we do not give special attention to these lovely creatures roaming in our backyards. But now, we are recognizing that these native pigs can bring significant socio-economic impact to our province. I would like to thank and commend the Marinduque State College for giving the native pig industry of Marinduque the much-needed support and guidance. We will not be here today if not for your efforts. The Marinduque native pig industry will benefit a lot from this research, development, and extension center. The mission of the academy is not just to hone the minds of our students. We also gear towards imparting service to our communities and helping our industry succeed through your research. The future looks bright for Mark Kaduke, and making it a global brand is not a far cry. It is just unfortunate that the African swine flu threatens this industry nowadays. But I hope that in the coming months, we will be able to overcome the challenge. To all of you, you can count on our support in the implementation of worthy programs for our people. We welcome policy recommendation so we can realize your vision of a progressive Philippine native pig industry by 2030. Again, my congratulations to all of you and we look forward to the increased productivity and production efficiency of Mark Kaduke. Thank you. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Thank you, Dr. Monleon, Dr. Zulueta, Director Abilay, and Governor Velasco. And now we move on to the live Q&A with our panelists present. May I please request Yusek Guevara, Yusek Maborang, Dr. Ibora, presenters and their partners to open your camera and unmute your, your mic when asked during our Q&A. I would also like to encourage our participants to post their questions here in the Zoom message board, or if you are watching the live broadcast via Facebook, to key in the question in the comment section of the DOST Science for Change Facebook page live broadcast. 
Okay, so let me check the questions. Okay, this question is for uh, the Tamarind R&D Center. I think we have here the project leader of the Tamarind Center, uh, Sir Jacob Sanchez. Are you in the room, sir? Ito po yung tanong. Ano po ang mga sumusunod na research activities ng ating Tamarind R&D Center? At paano po natin ito ma-transfer sa mga uh, sa industry or those uh, beneficiaries ng ating mga technologies. Maraming salamat po uh, Sir Gilbert uh, sa inyong katanungan. And muli isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Ako po pala si Jacob Anderson C. Sanchez. Isa po ako sa mga project leader ng DOST NICER for Tamarind representing our program leader uh, Dr. Virgilio Gonzalez. Also, my uh, greetings to our top management from the DOST, uh, headed by Secretary Boy de la Peña, Yusek Jev uh, Guevara, um, Director Ebora, and other equally important um, uh, participants and guests from uh, this uh, webinar. Ang aming pong proyekto ay binubuo ng tatlong bahagi. Ang una po ay ang morphological at molecular na pag-aaral, pagsusuri ng mga sampalo. Base po sa aming pag-aaral, nakita namin na ang PSAU sour number 2 ang may pinakamainam, pinakamabigat, pinakamahaba at pinakadesirable na characteristics sa ating market. So marami po ang mga sampalok. Ngunit ang PSAU sour number 2 ang aming pinalaganap sa buong Central Luzon. And from the project 2, unang aming project, ay nagkaroon po kami ng 100 hectare target na increase. So noong 2018 po, ang ating uh, tamarind hectares planted in Central Luzon ay nasa 188 hectares lamang. Ngunit dahil dito sa DOST NICER Tamarind Program, ay na-increase po natin ito to 84.5 hectares for the year 2 and 100 hectares for year 3 giving us a total of 288 hectares of tamarind at least in Central Luzon. Alam po ninyo sa ating mga tagapakinig, napakaganda po ng Sampaloc. Ito po ay 30% component ng inyong Worcestershire sauce. Ito po ay laging ginagamit sa ating sinigang mix sa mga pang-araw-araw na sangkap at sa mga cosmeceuticals or pharmaceutical products. Kaya naman, ang import ng ating bansa ay napakataas. So ang ating capacity sa, sa isang taon ay 6,500 po lamang. Ngunit alam po ninyo, through this DOST NICER program, ay maiangat po natin to 1,000 tons ang ating production uh, para ma-meet po natin yung demand at least within 4 to 5 years. At para po sa plant health, meron din po kaming mga pagsusuri kung saan na pag-alaman namin na ang mga uh, botanical or biological uh, control agents ay, ay mabisa na pangpuksa sa mga in, uh, fungus o mga infestasyon na nagaganap sa mga sampalo. At sa aming economic analysis ay napag-alaman po namin na napakaganda po ng potensyal, hindi lamang po ng sweet tamarind, maging ang sour tamarind ay ma malaki ang maitulong sa ating mga farmer cooperators. Ito po ay aming ipinakipag-ugnayan sa ating mga farmer cooperators at direkta nating silang inilink sa mga industry partners kagaya po ng Sandrich at Mamasitas. So sa programa pong ito, layunin po namin na maipalaganap hindi lamang po ang aglibot sweet tamarind kundi ang aming pinakamagandang variety ng sour. Ito po yung PSAU sour number 2 sa buong bansa. Magandang umaga po at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you, Sir Jacob, for that uh, informative no, na mga sagot. Yan. So yung next question ay tungkol pa rin po sa tamarind. Uh, siguro pa rin sumagot dito si, uh, si uh, OIC President, Dr. David, or yung tamarind team, or si Dr. Ibarra. So itong tanong na ito ay from uh, PIMAI News, uh, Sir Noli Liwanag. So according to him, uh, based po sa Philippine Statistics Authority, ang tamarind production sa Pilipinas ay umaabot sa 6,638 metric tons noong 2018. 
Kulang po ito base sa pangangailangan ng mga food processing sa bansa. Sa hinaharap po, ano po ang posibleng maitulong ng Tamarind R&D Center sa mga magsasaka sa pangangailangan ng local domestic? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sige po, sa go ahead, sir. industry lamang po, ay nangangailangan na po ng 8,000 na tonelada sa isang taon. Isang processing company lang po yun. At ang capacity po ng ating bansa ay 6,500 tonelada po. So kung dito po sa ating programa ay naiangat po natin to 1,000 tons, at least within 4 to 5 years, ay masupplement po natin yung uh, minimum requirement po ng industry. Uh, maraming salamat po. Thank you, Sir Jacob. And so maybe uh, mak pwede magdagdag si uh, Director Grace Gatan ng PSAU. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, tungkol naman po doon sa pangangailangan po ng ating industriya, kapag tayo po ay nakapag, uh, makamit po natin itong 100 hectares kasi so far po ngayon, tayo po ay may, meron na po kaming na-establish na uh, more than 70 hectares o almost 80 hectares na po. So four to five years from now po, ito po ay tinataya po namin na makakapag-produce po ito ng 1,000 Uh, to 1,500 tons for, uh, for the 100 hectares po. So enough na po ito para po masustain at mabigyan po natin yung mga pangangailangan po ng ating industriya. So uh, uh, with the technologies that we have right now po in uh, PSAU with the NICER Tamarind Program, ito po mapapataas po natin po yung yield kasi po so far ngayon nasa 3.36 ton po per hectare po ang napoproduce po natin. So with that po, with our technologies and uh, using the variety that was said a while ago by uh, Sir Jacob, so maatin po natin yung requirement po ng ating industry. Thank you po. Thank you, Director Grace. Napakahalaga po talaga no, ng Tamarind R&D Center para ma-boost yung uh, uh, industry ng uh, Tamarind. Uh, Dr. Ibora, would you like to add, sir? Uh, magandang umaga po sa lahat. Uh, gusto ko lang pong idagdag na ang isang magandang uh, output nitong Tamarind Center natin, makikita natin yung mga tamang variety para sa tamang lokasyon. Uh, sa ngayon po, ang umaasa tayo ng uh, success dun sa uh, produkto ng, uh, ng university, pero may mga ibang area pa rin po tayo na pwedeng i-develop. At magagawa po yan sa tulong ng NICER Center natin. So, ibig sabihin, pwede po itong incorporate sa ibang programa ng government. For example, yung agroforestry. Baka pwedeng tingnan yung sampalok as one of the components. So, very promising itong mga results kasi ang nakikita natin ngayon, hindi lang tayo basta nagtatanim ng sampalok. Nagtatanim tayo ng sampalok na tama sa tamang lugar, sampalok na properly characterized, at sampalok na may uh, pa-market na talagang pinaglalaan. So congratulations po sa PSAU kasi kung wala po yung effort nila dito, hindi natin to ma-attain. At sa kay uh, late President Soriano kasi siya ho talaga ang uh, isa sa mga nagsulong nitong proyekto na to. Maraming salamat po. Yeah, so thank you very much Dr. Ibarra. So I think uh, we have also another question here for uh, this question is for the Native Pig R&D Center. And yeah, so uh, here which uh, I think this can be answered no, by, uh, by uh, President uh, Zulueta or uh, Dr. Monleon. So yung tanong po ay, uh, which, uh, what has been the changes in the Marinduque State College in terms of R&D related initiatives of the university now that it has a na nicer on native pig? And how does this center uh, uh, able to help Uh, the industry you know, for uh, in the region. And so, Dr. Zulueta or Dr. Mondeon? Anyone po from the Native Pig R&D Center? Uh, Gilbert, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Mondeon. Nawala yata ang connection ni President. Okay po, no problem, sir. Yeah, go ahead, Dr. Mondeon. Uh, okay, salamat muna, uh, Gilbert. Uh, I'd like to uh, appreciate support from the DOST, uh, of course, to the Secretary, to Ma'am Yusek Gabe, and ito rin si Yusek Maburang, our uh, regional director, and ito si, si Ma'am. And then, of course, uh, uh, partner namin, kina 
uh, Executive Director Ibora and the group of uh, DOST Picard and the rest of my team who are also attending today. Uh, una una, we are pursuing to become a full-fledged university and uh, our center is contributing to the number of researches that we require to produce every year. We have established facilities uh, to provide support to our students and faculty engaged in research and development. We have several stakeholders who are currently relying to the technology the, that we develop. So marami, marami pa naming pupuntahan. The consumers, the traders, including the, the relevant industries, yung supplier ng mga feed resources, local processors. So marami naming pang, marami naming natulungan at marami pa naming matutulungan. Regarding the change naman doon sa processing namin, we, we develop our own uh, recipe ng tusino, own recipe ng lunganisa, so that we carry brand name uh, para lamang sa native pig. We are also producing several material, video material, kasi that is our innovative way in adapting current pandemic, uh, very difficult for us to go to the different communities. So may mga video material kami posted in our YouTube channel. We already posted around uh, 51 videos, instructional and vlogs. Kasi nga natuwa din yung mga staff ko na i-vlog yung mga activities na ginagawa sa center natin. And meron yung experiences na pwedeng maging a reference ng ating mga stakeholders. Thank you, Gilbert. Thank you, Dr. Monleon, for that insightful answer. And so I think we can accommodate our last two questions. Uh, we have here a no, follow-up question from uh, PIMAI News, uh, Sir Noli Liwana. Uh, according to him, uh, follow-up po, may lugar, uh, may mga lugar po ba o klase po ng lupa para sa pagtatanim ng sampalo. So I think uh, Sir Jacob can answer this question. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong katanungan. Uh, alam po natin na uh, sa buong bansa, ang tama rin ay isang minor fruit crop. Kadalasan ito ay tinatanim sa backyard, sa likod ng bahay ng ating mga tahanan. Ngunit dito po sa Central Luzon, specifically sa pangunguna ng Pampanga State Agricultural University, ay naitanim namin ang sampalok sa iba't, ba, iba't ibang bahagi ng denuded upland areas. Uh, ibig po sabihin, ito po yung mga nakakalbong bundok. Uh, nang sa ganon ay magsilbi po itong karagdagang kita sa ating pong mga magsasaka. Uh, gayon din po sa ating mga farmer cooperators sa mga lowlands, kagaya po sa Tarlac, meron din po sa Bulacan, at sa buong bahagi po ng Central Luzon ay naipalaganap po natin yung pinakamagandang variety, yung PSAU, sour number two. Uh, marami pong salamat. Thank you, Sir Jacob. Yeah. So I think we can now move to our last question. Uh, this is addressed to Director uh, Julius Cesar Sikat or Yusek Maboran. So ito po yung tanong, Sir. Uh, gaya ng R&D Center for Tamarind at Native Pig, Ano ang direksyon na nakikita ng DOST at DOST regional offices kung, paan, kung paano iugnay ang mga NICERs sa mga existing na programa ng DOST tulad ng Smart Food Value Chain, uh, Food Innovation Centers, CEST at maging ang setup for a greater impact? Ayan, so pwede po ba makasagot si uh, Director Sikat? Si yeah, Malu? thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Alam po ninyo talagang uh, very robust po yung, yung ating programa sa pag-link ng ating mga food innovation center, ng uh, iba-ibang mga programa po including setup and ng ating uh, grants in aid program including of course yung ating S4C program para po ang ating mga uh, locally developed technologies ay ma-link natin sa ating mga industry partners. No? And, and, and what better way than to tap 
itong ating mga food innovation centers and other uh, academic institutions na yung mga technical expertise nila upang mas ma-guide natin yung ating mga uh, industry partners. In fact, ang ating mga experts from the academic institutions, nagiging partner natin sila, uh, lalong-lalo sa ating mga technical consultancy services, uh, yung ating MPEX program, yung ating CAPE, sila ang ating tinatap upang i-guide natin yung ating mga potential um, adapters. No? At uh, ito ay nakakatulong ng malaki upang maging uh, mas uh, competitive yung ating mga industries uh, with, with respect dun sa uh, production and marketing ng ating mga uh, locally developed products. At uh, uh, akin pong uh, pinapaalam na rin, sinasamantala ko yung pagkakataon nito, nasabihin na uh, sa, sa darating pong uh, Nobyembre ay gaganapin natin yung uh, ating National Science and Technology Week. At dyan po, ma mas malalo po nating madidiscuss ng usot, may pipresenta yung iba-ibang technologies na available at kung paanong ito ay ma-access po ng ating mga partners. Salamat po. Thank you, Director JC. Ayan, so I think a Secretary Boy would like to add. Oh, idadagdag ko lang kasi uh, marami naman tayong programa sa region. Salimbawa, doon sa ating community empowerment to science and technology, pagdating dyan sa mga livelihood, pwede rin i-introduce yan. Halimbawa, yung ating Native Pig Project ay pwede rin maging... Uh, Uh, proyekto ng ating mga marginalized uh, communities at uh, yun ding uh, uh, binanggit kangina na uh, tungkol sa innovation centers. Ma importante yun kasi ito ay uh, makakatulong sa pagkakaroon tayo natin ng uh, mga processing ano, and, uh, and uh, value adding uh, uh, processes for our uh, produce. And then uh, siguro mabanggit ko lang din na uh, Uh, malaki ang potential ng uh, uh, regional office, provincial office collaboration with LGUs with respect to uh, the, uh, the itong ating mga isinusulong sa uh, NICER. Uh, hindi ko makakalimutan yung uh, ikinuwento sa akin ng PSAU na sa Magalang, hindi ka pwedeng kumuha ng business permit kung hindi ka magtatanim ng puno ng sampalok. Ewan ko kung hanggang ngayon ay umiiral pa rin yung patakara na yon Pero maganda yon At plano yata nila noon bago ka bigyan ng marriage license, kailangan magtanim ka muna ng puno ng sampalok. Uh, so uh, these are partnerships that I think can really boost ano, uh, productivity in the, uh, in the region. Salamat. Maraming salamat, Sekboy. And so yun po yung end ng ating uh, Q&A. Uh, maraming salamat po, Sek de la Peña, Yusek Pabora, uh, Dr. Ibora, Director Sikat, Dr. Zoeta, Dr. David, David uh, Sir Jacob, Dr. Monleon, um, Director Grace, and then the partners of the NICERS. Thank you also for, uh, to all who dropped their queries and clarifications. The current situation is characterized by high uncertainty. It can only be solved by the change provided by innovation. It is achievable through the growth of niche centers in the regions or the NICERs, which serve as innovation hubs in all the regions in the country. At this point, we will hear more messages of support from our special guests. They are Honorable Romulo Pepson, the Mayor of Magalang, Pampanga, Dr. Roy Villalubos, the President of President Ramon Magsaysay State University, Dr. Emmanuel Vera Cruz, the OIC Vice President of Central Luzon State University, Sir Remen Sardo, the Municipal Agriculturist of San Marcelino Zambales, Sir Ayan Cabriga, an entrepreneur from the Philippine Native Big Network, Dr. Angel Incarnacion, the Regional Director of BFAR Region 2, and Dr. Edgardo Tulin, the President of Visaya State University. Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Tayo po ay nakikisa sa Department of Science and Technology sa kanilang pakikipagtulungan sa Pampanga State Agricultural University tungo sa mga progresibong proyektong ito tulad nito na naglalayong makatulong sa ating tanghanap buhay particular sa sektor ng agrikultura. Ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong ipinangkaloob na programa para sa ating mga kabalen na may temang accelerating towards achieving zero 
hunger. Napakahalaga po na tinatawag nating research and development dahil nalalaman natin ang mga bagong teknik at sensya na nakakatulong sa mas lalo pang pag-unlad ng ating buhay. Alam naman po natin na naging tanyag ang pinagmamalaki ko po kaysa isang uh, pamantasan sa ating bayan na Pampanga State Agricultural University sa mga proyektong tulad ng Aglibot Suite Tamarin at iba pa na naabot nila sa pamamagitan ng research and development. Patuloy lamang po tayong magtulong-tulong upang maibigay ang kaginawahan sa bawat Pilipino. Maraming salamat po. Isang pagbati ng magandang araw at panalangin sa kalusugan at kalakasan ng bawat isa. I am honored to be with you in this event that not only aims to address the issues on food security and hunger, but also a way to showcase the unified efforts of the academe in the pursuit to improve the quality of life of our communities and as agents for national development. The President Ramon Magsaysay State University, on behalf of its officials and employees, would like to commend the PSAU and all other partners in the NICER Tamarind R&D Center project. We are one with you in this endeavor. As we move forward in the middle of the pandemic towards rebuilding and recovery, the sharing of knowledge is crucial. While we discover and generate knowledge, the academy paves the way to find solutions to global issues, conducting research and translating this technology and commercialization of products, and transferring best practices essential for creating economic opportunity. Muli, Pagsaludo po sa pagpupunyaging ito ng PSAU at sa lahat ng kasamahang patuloy na nakikiisa sa proyektong ito. Isang pasasalamat sa inyong pagsisikap para sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Asahan po ninyo ang patuloy na pakikiisa ng PRMSU sa inyong napakagandang mithiing matuldukan ang mga problemang panglipunan. Isang magandang araw, mabuhay po tayong lahat. The Central Luzon State University fully commits its utmost support to the NICER Tamarind R&D Center of the Pampanga State Agricultural University and its effort in bringing innovative solutions that can push forward the agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources sector. The pandemic greatly challenged the agri-food industry from food demand to food supply. Thus, food security has evidently become one of the priority concerns worldwide. With this at hand, a revolutionary and more receptive R&D initiatives is desired in order to bring the vision of alleviating anger into fruition. CLSU together with PSAU, other HEIs and SNT institutions will continue to work and contribute to the growth of R&D industry towards achieving sustainable economic growth and securing people's welfare. It is an honor and great privilege for me to take part in this momentous occasion. Despite the economic and worldwide impact of the pandemic that we are facing, I would like to extend my warmest greetings. I would like to commend the NICER Tamarind R&D Center for its continuous effort to achieving zero hunger. Through this, the local government of San Marcelino Zambales and on behalf of the Municipal Agriculture Office, I am sending my humble words of congratulations. May you continue to shed light to your clients and stakeholders by promoting the best science and technology-based practices and conducting programs, researches that will be beneficial to all. Again, my congratulations and may we continue this wonderful partnership. God bless and more power. Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Ayan Cabriga, ang representative po ng Philippine Native Pig Owners Network Association Incorporated. Kami po ay lubos na sumusuporta sa mga 
uh, research and development programs ng Department of Science and Technology, ng uh, DOST Picard, at ng mga ahensya na kasama po natin sa pagdidevelop ng uh, ating katutubong baboy. Nasaksihan ko ang uh, development ng uh, ating uh, ginagawa sa Marinduque State College at ako po ay natuwa dahil nakita ko ang napaka uh, napaka layo na ng narating ng ating uh, uh, programa dito sa Marinduque State College kaya uh, sa kabila po ng uh, lumalaganap na ASF sa ating bansa ay uh, patuloy pa rin ang ating ahensya na inaabot ang mga uh, tao sa laylayan ng lipunan lalo-lalo na mga nag-aalaga ng katutubong baboy at patuloy pa rin tayo na nagbibigay serbisyo sa ating mga farmers na aming pong kasama sa aming advokasya para mapaganda ang uh, katutubong baboy ng ating bansa at makapagbigay ng kabuhayan hindi lang po sa mga naglilitsyon, hindi lang po sa mga nag-aalaga, sa lahat po ng stakeholders ng industriya ng uh, ating uh, katutubong baboy. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po at asahan po ninyo ang aming uh, kooperasyon at ang aming suporta sa lahat ng inyo pong mga ginagawa. Mula po sa aming hanay, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mga Uh, inisyatibo na ginagawa po ng inyong ahensya para, pag, para palawigin, para uh, magbigay ng napakagandang uh, research and development program para sa ating mga native na baboy at uh, mga native animals. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po at uh, mabuhay po kayong lahat. The Department of Agriculture Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Region 2 extends its full support to the Niche Center for R&D program of the Department of Science and Technology, particularly the operation of the Freshwater Fisheries Center of the Isabella State University. We recognize the center not just only the first NICER program in the Philippines under the Agriculture, Aquatic, and Natural Resources sector of DOST but being one of our active collaborators in the conduct of various R&D projects on freshwater fisheries. In fact, the center was recently recognized by the Bureau on its efforts for the development and uh, promotion of aquaculture technologies for eel and for the support for the Ludong conservation and management. And we expect more of uh, R&D programs or projects in the pipeline. Thank you, uh, Department of, of Science and Technology, for your efforts to accelerate regional development through NICER under the Science for Change program as we work together towards a food secure and resilient fishing sector in the Philippines. I would like to thank our special guest for providing much hope and support to our R&D centers or NICERs. To give us a better lasting insight, may we please welcome the Undersecretary for Regional Operations, Engineer Sancho A. Mabora. Good morning, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, my greetings to our dear Secretary, Professor Fortunato T. De La Peña, Undersecretary Rowena Cristina Guevara, Director uh, Reynaldo B. Boro Picard, Director Alfonso Alamban, Director uh, JC Sikat, Director uh, Nana Tabilay, OIC Director Virginia Bilguera, other officials, representatives, and guests from various national and local agencies, local government units, institutions, organizations industry associations, cooperatives, regional interagency councils and s &T committees, private firms, companies to our NICER, implementing agencies and collaborators to our national and regional media partners, 
to everyone joining us via Zoom and FB Live. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning. On behalf of the BOST family, I wish to thank every one of you for joining us in this third leg of the NICER events this year. The Research Evolution Symposium wherein we featured the four established NICERs under the agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources sector. The Freshwater Fishery Center at Sabella State University, C. Cucumber R&D Center at the Mindanao State University in Awan Campus, Tamarind R&D Center at the Pampanga State Agricultural University, and Native Pig R&D Center at the Marinduque State College are among the first batch of NICERs implemented in the regions. The establishment of these NICERs are among the key strategies towards developing a more SNT or STI driven, sustainable, resilient, and progressive countryside, stimulating the industry sector and contributing towards achieving zero hunger in the near future. These NICERs have already set their foundations and similar to a tree, each center has started to grow, develop branches, flowered, and even bear some fruits already. As I have always mentioned in the previous events, having an approved NICER is a prestige for institutions, an acknowledgement of their R&D strength, competence, and track record along the particular R&D area. But we should also be reminded that having a NICER is also a commitment of these host institutions and collaborators to nurture the center to be a national R&D institution in the near future. Like a fully grown tree with a strong root network, wide and vibrant canopy and sturdy trunk and branches producing lots of flowers and fruits. At this point, I challenge these NICERs to take on the lead and steer the development of the respective priority sector through knowledge and technology generation, promotion and transfer for adoption of the target beneficiaries. Relative to this, we expect that the NICERs will continue to expand their respective networks and build good relationships with the collaborators and stakeholders, particularly the industry sectors and communities to be relevant and responsive to their STI needs. And it is where the science for change will be truly realized. Once again, congratulations to the NICERs on freshwater fisheries sea cucumber, tamarind, and native pig, and we hope that this event will open more opportunities for future collaboration and partnerships for these centers. Thank you, and see you all again in our next NICER event. Thank you very much, Yusek Mabaran. With the presentations earlier, we have seen that truly R&D interventions enhance agricultural productivity in the regions and spur regional economic growth, which contribute to national food security. Through R&D, we will be ready to face the challenges starting with this pandemic and beyond. For the registrants, you may re receive your e-certificates upon completing the evaluation form to be provided after this event. For the panelists inside the Zoom, may we request for all to stay a bit for a photo opportunity. Thank you very much. Okay, Can so um, uh, the, uh, the host, can you allow the participants to open their cameras? Zoom uh, host. So uh, this has been your host, uh, Gilbert Poralan. We thank everyone and see you in our next events. Keep safe po tayong lahat.